Hello everyone, welcome to Prayogic Uno channel. In this video, let's learn how to implement a Boolean function in assembly language. So let's take the Boolean expression y equals ab plus cd whole bar. This expression can be visualized in terms of logic gates as shown here. A and B can be anded to get AB. Similarly, C and D can be anded to get CD. In the next step, these two values can be ORed to get AB plus CD. Finally, this value can be inverted to obtain the required output that is AB plus CD whole bar. Now, let's look how this can be implemented in assembly language programming. These are the list of bit instructions available in 8051. Observe that the logic operations like AND, OR, AND complement involves the usage of carry flag that is part of the PSW register. This means that if you want to AND two bits A and B, you cannot AND them directly. Instead, you need to move one of the value to the carry flag using the move instruction and then AND it with the other value using the ANL instruction. From the logic diagram, we can observe that we need 4 inputs and 1 output. Also, we need to store the intermediate values of AND operation. Now, we need to assign memory locations to all inputs and outputs. Let's have a look at the memory layout of RAM. As you know, the locations from 2.0 hex to 2.f hex are bit addressable. We can use any of these locations to store our inputs and outputs. With this understanding, let's go ahead and write the assembly program. First, let's assign the memory locations to the inputs. Please note that EQU is not a microcontroller instruction but an assembler directive. It works similar to hash define used in C programming. It's always a better practice to use EQU directive as it makes the program more readable. Let's assign the address 0x03 to A, 0x02 to B, 0x01 to C and 0x00 to D. Let's also assign locations for temporary results at 0x05 and 0x06. And let's assign the output to the address 0x08. The next step is to provide the input values based on the truth table. Let's say we want to provide the values 1001 as inputs. So we need to set A, clear B and C and set D inputs. If you want to provide a different input from the truth table, set and clear these variables accordingly. In the next step, let's perform AND operation on inputs A and B and store the intermediate result. As we discussed earlier, we need to move one of the inputs to the carry flag and then perform AND operation. So let's move input A to carry flag with the instruction move C comma var A. The next instruction ANL C comma var B ands the inputs A and B and stores the result in the carry flag. The next instruction moves the result in the carry flag to the temporary result variable. Now we are done with one part of the equation. The next three instructions does the same AND operation but with variables C and D as inputs. In the next step, we need to OR both the temporary results. That's what these two instructions do and the result is stored in the carry flag. And finally, we need to invert the value to get the end result. The instruction CPLC inverts the value and the next instruction move out y comma c stores the result in the output variable. So at this point we are done with writing the program. Let's go ahead and test it. Save the file, build the project 
make sure that you do not have any errors or warnings. Now press the debug button and press OK in the dialog box. We need to observe the memory location 0x20 and 0x21 as we are storing our inputs and outputs here. So click on the memory window button and in the address field enter d colon 0x20. So the first byte here shows the values of inputs and the next byte shows the value of the output. Now hit the run button and observe the output value in this byte. Compare the output value with the true table and verify the results. To change the input values, stop debugging and change the input values as needed. Save the file, build and then start the debugging again. This brings us to the end of the video. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on 8051. Thank you for watching the video.